Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit of a different one because I'm not gonna be talking to you about my hair, I'm gonna be talking to you through my microblading experience. So just in case you're wondering, this is my day three hair. It's held up very well actually. I'm trying out some new products which you'll either hear about on here or on Instagram soon, but yeah. We're not talking about my hair today, we're talking about my eyebrows, my eyebrow hair that I don't have, which is why I'm getting them microbladed. So I have actually previously had my eyebrows tattooed before. Um, I had them first done about six years ago, then I had a couple of top ups since, but they are very faded. The last time I had them topped up was probably about four years ago now, so it's been a while. I'm very overdue a top up. So what I got done previously wasn't actually microblading. They also went a little bit further into the skin than microblading does so that means that the pigment went a lot darker honestly the look was a bit unnatural for me I would say this time I want to go for a more natural fluffy look I want it to look like my actual eyebrows which I was not blessed with so here's a picture of my brows with no makeup on so you can see what I'm left with so the pigment has faded and you can see they've gone a little bit orange you can't see like the individual hair strokes anymore and yeah you can see where my natural eyebrow hair is what there is of it. They're very sparse. That isn't from over plucking. I just never grew eyebrow hair. I wasn't lucky enough to grow eyebrow hair, hence why I had them tattooed. At the moment, I just go over my brows with the Glossier Brow Flick in shade brown, so you can see um, I just do the individual hair strokes. So previously, I probably didn't do enough research into the technician and the different types of tattooing and microblading and what the difference is, but this time I found a technician that I really, really love her work. I'm really excited to let her work on me, and yeah, I'll put her details in the description box below. I'm just really looking forward to having my brows redone. I want them to look natural. I'm going to probably get them a similar colour to this. I probably won't be able to take you along with me but I'll definitely show you as soon as I come out and yeah I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da! I have just got back from having my eyebrows done. It is dark outside so I'm on the ring light so it looks a bit weird the lighting but um, I just wanted to show you these brows. They look so good. Look how natural the hair strokes look. I'm trying to focus it. So natural, the hair strokes. This one is the troublesome brow because the lady that did my brows this time felt like the people that did them previously went a little bit too high on the arch on this side. So she didn't want to go that high, so just because like she wanted them to be even. You can see a little bit of the orange still there. The yellow that you can see, that's just from the pigment from having them done today. I need to clean it off. For the healing process, over the next 10 days, I'm just not allowed to get them wet at all. I don't have to put anything on them. The lady that did them, Heidi, she advocates strictly dry healing, so she doesn't didn't want me to put like any oil or anything on them. Some people asked you to put oil. That's what I had to do before um, the last place I went. Some people want you to put like bepanthum on them, but it's strictly dry healing. It's what Heidi has asked. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and like not wash my hair for the next few days. I'm going to try and stretch it as long as I can basically. So this is day one and I will update you in a few days. Hello, it's now day three. I didn't bother checking in yesterday because to be honest, my brows look exactly the same as day one. I'm trying not to wear makeup for the first few days just because I find it really hard to take off um, and I really wanna try and just look after them as best I can and help them to heal as best they can. So today I've started to notice a little bit of scabbing in the front of my eyebrows. So I'll give you a little zoom in so you can, you might be able to see if I zoom it. There's starting to be a little bit of scabbing. Just a very small amount where you can see it kind of lifting, it's just starting to lift off. So what happens is the pigment appears darker when you first have them done and then once that kind of sheds, it gets lighter. So it's a bit of a roller coaster of them healing so they can go darker and then lighter and patchy. But in four to six weeks is when my like final brows will be there. But after the 10 days, they should be fully healed and I'll be able to treat them just as normal, won't have to be as careful. I thought I'd have a quick read through some of the aftercare advice that my brow technician gave me. So she said, 
Dry healing reduces the risk of infection and promotes better pigment retention. A sensitivity in the area is normal at first and mild itching is a sign of healing. They haven't been itchy for me yet. I feel like they're gonna get itchy over the next few days, but I just want to like rub them and scratch them even though they're not itchy just because I'm not allowed to. Does that make sense? I'm really weird. Something else is clear lymph fluid in the first day is another healthy natural reaction and I did notice she did say that I had quite a bit of lymph fluid um, after she just did them and to be honest they were looking a little bit shiny yesterday so I think I had it yesterday as well but she said to me that if I do have a lot then just kind of dab it with a clean tissue only and yeah it just says early on as the pigment sits on top of the skin your brows will appear darker and the strokes sharper and then they'll settle like during the healing process so definitely I'm starting to notice some scabbing um which will then do its thing and fall off and then reveal my new brows and um, you can see it a bit better now on this brow where my previous work was done where Heidi didn't want to go as high so you can see it there kind of but I think when I'm stood back you can't really notice I think they perfectly frame my face I'm really 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 happy with them obviously they're a little bit dark at the moment but they're gonna settle and be a bit lighter so we'll see we will see I'm excited hello it's day six and just a really quick pop on because they really haven't changed that much I still haven't washed my hair um so these are my brows. I really don't feel like they've changed much at all since my last check-in. Um, this front bit is still like showing the signs of beginning to scab over. Um, they're not itchy. Like a couple of times they felt a little bit itchy, but yeah, they're not really itchy at all overall. But yeah, maybe they've got a little bit lighter in colour, but overall, I just love them so much. I just love them. I've still like not been getting them wet and stuff in the shower, only four more days of that. So yeah, I might end up washing my hair. Probably on day eight, I'm probably gonna wash my hair. Um, I think with it being up, I can get away with it. But yeah, that's my update. I really don't have much to say at all. So yeah, see you soon. It is day nine and these are my brows. I did take a quick video of them in the natural lighting earlier, cause it's a bit dark now, I'm on the ring light. This is the first time I've worn a full face of makeup since I had them done, but yeah, Today is probably the most change I've seen in them. They're starting to get a bit lighter here and they really are a little bit scabby like at the front. And my skin is feeling so dry, just like on my forehead and like in between my brows where I've like not been able to properly like cleanse and moisturize it over the last nine days. I think I need a couple more days of healing definitely because they're a little bit, they're feeling itchy and scabby here. The rest of them haven't scabbed over at all, really. It's literally just the front parts, and they're a little bit lighter, as I said. But so it's day nine of my eyebrows, but it's kind of like day eight of healing because, like, if you I'm not counting the first day in the healing process. So yeah, a couple more days and then hopefully that'll be the 10 days over and they'll be all healed. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. The colour is just absolutely spot on. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna change any more. Um, I'm hoping not because I absolutely love the colour, I think is absolutely perfect for me and um, the shape I'm really loving um yeah today was also the first time that I washed my hair I literally it was like must have been eight or nine days since I washed my hair so that's the longest that I've left my hair in a very long time but just because it was up and because I'm not working out as well my scalp didn't get sweaty but yeah it was all fun washing it today because I had to have my hair back like this the whole time styling was a bit tricky because I did it upright um, so it's turned out okay. I need to add a bit more product, I think. But yeah, that is day nine. It is day 11 of having my eyebrows microbladed and day 10 of healing. So it's the final day of not getting them wet. And they're the scabbiest that they've been so far. The scabbiest and the flakiest. So not happy about that because it's the weekend and I thought that they would be healed by now and any scabbiness and flakiness will have gone. That is not the case. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So this is what they currently look like. You can see like this bit here is like a big flat ball into flake off. 
bit flaky here, here and here. Not really too flaky at the ends to be honest, but yeah, who knows, it might get flakier. I spoke to Heidi, the lady that did my brows, and she said that if I feel like they've healed underneath, then I can like not worry about getting them wet as much. But I think I'm gonna leave it a couple more days, and then hopefully by the beginning of next week, all the scabs will have fallen off. I can see like slightly under this scab, and they're much lighter, so that's like one of the things that happens is that you get them done and then they get darker, which I didn't really notice, but looking back at pictures, they definitely were a lot darker a couple of days after I first got them done. And then they go a bit, then they kind of scab over and shed and get lighter. And I can see that under here it's much lighter. So I feel like they're gonna get a bit patchy when some of the flakes fall off that are waiting to fall off. It's all glamorous, isn't it? It's all glamorous. So I'm gonna be getting a top up in about a month or so. I'm not gonna wait until then to show like the final result. You'll be able to see the final result on my channel anyway. Anyway, um, and on my Instagram and also like the healing process will be the same I assume so yeah I'll pop back when they're fully scab free goodbye So it's now day 16 and yesterday the final scab or flake, whatever you want to call it, came off of this brow. So they're now fully healed. I do feel like the healing process took me longer than it said it was going to take. I think it pretty much took about the same amount of time as it did last time I got them done. And last time I got them done, because it was a different kind of thing, it wasn't actually microblading, it was 14 days I couldn't get them wet for. And I actually did end up leaving it 14 days this time, just because there were still scabs there on day 10. I felt like they hadn't completely healed underneath, so I just wanted to be careful. This is them now with nothing on. This, this one I feel like is the perfect eyebrow. It just needs a little bit... A little bit of thickening, maybe a little bit of darkening. This one is kind of like, it needs some work, I think. <laughs> um, so like the front bit here, you see it's not really taken. So this bit here needs to be refilled in. Um, just again, thickening, and I think I do want it to come up very slightly higher when I have the um, top up. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. I think they look really good when I've got no makeup on. When I have makeup on, I will probably will like fill them in a bit just to darken them a bit. But I, I kind of want that anyway, I think. I want them to look good when I'm not wearing makeup, and then I'm happy to add a little bit extra to them when I am wearing makeup. If they're really, really dark and solid when I have no makeup, makeup on then they just look a bit like I've got slugs on my face and I had that look before as you'll have seen in a previous photo. This one has definitely darkened much more than when the flakes first came off um, so I'm wondering if this one will maybe start to darken a little bit more but yes we shall see. I'll pop back on once more in a few days and give you like the last update. Hello so it is day 22 of having eyebrows, day 21 of healing and these are my brows. You can see just how natural they look. It's just amazing. I love them so much. With this bit here, what I have been doing is just putting a little bit of concealer over where you can see the previous work and that's been helping me. I'm really, really happy with them though. You can see like they're a little bit sparse in some areas where they'll just need filling a little bit more sort of like here, and here on this one. But that will all be sorted in the top up that I have in about four or so weeks time whenever I can book it in for. I'm just so happy with them. They look really natural. It's exactly what I was looking for. And yeah, thank you so much to Heidi for giving me some amazing brows. And thank you for following along with the video. I know it's a little bit of a different video for my channel, but I hope that you found it helpful and it kind of gave you a little bit of an insight into the microblading healing process, scabs and all. It really isn't too bad, the healing process and like the pain of getting them done I didn't really feel much pain either just a little bit scratchy and the healing process it really isn't that bad it's literally two weeks of your life and it feels annoying when you're in it but like I've forgotten about it now and it's like the last scab fell off about a week ago so yeah thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found it helpful if you did enjoy the video please feel free to give it a like leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon bye guys